Hello, welcome to my channel, Two English Acres. If you're just tuning in, my name is Kristen, and I'm, I'm an amateur gardener. This is my third year. My first year I started with three boxes, and then we added a couple more last year, and we added more this year. And a problem that I have is I don't necessarily have trouble growing things. I have trouble using things. So last year I did so much lettuce, I let it bolt. We didn't use it, it went to seed. And so this week I have made um, dinner plans to use up, uh, use up the lettuce every night this week. Five meals, all including the lettuce. Here's a lettuce bed that we have. So this year I planted a mix. It's, it's like kind of like a spring mix. It has a few different things. And then I planted a bib lettuce. And then <laughs> I don't know why I thought I needed three rows of red Cherokee lettuce, but I planted three rows of red Cherokee lettuce. It's a delicious lettuce. It's a little peppery. I'm just gonna go through here and um, harvest some for dinner tonight. So when you harvest lettuce, we use a method called cut and come again. And what that means is you want to cut high. You don't want to cut low down on the stalk. You just grab a bunch, you snip it, you cut, and then it'll come again. I have been harvesting this lettuce for a month now. We've had several salads and it does keep coming back. It is not supposed to rain. There's a 2% chance of rain and it's gonna rain. So before I go in, I'm gonna grab some of these sugar snap peas for dinner tonight too. This is the first year I'm growing these and I'm absolutely loving them. It's not, uh, it's not easy to do one-handed, but. <laughs> these are awesome. I'll, um, I'll take them all off see them all and they'll just be full of, of um, sugar peas again we are we are in dire need of rain and here comes the rain I'm gonna cut some uh, I'm gonna cut some green onion tops before I go in I'm gonna go in the barn too and see if we have any eggs. We'll add some hard boiled eggs to our, uh, to our salad tonight. <laughs> surprise, surprise, we still have some broody girls. You got something for me, Henrietta? No. What about you? You hiding something in there? Oh, she is hiding a couple in there. There's a few more. A few more. So even though we just collected these eggs, we can't boil these because it is near impossible to peel a very fresh egg. So I have some eggs in the fridge back here on the counter. They're from about a month ago. So I'm gonna hard boil those eggs for our salad tonight. So I'm gonna wash all this lettuce up. I, I triple soak it. I soak it, rip, uh, drain it, soak it, drain it. I go through leaf by leaf. There are earwigs and spiders. This is not the store. <laughs> this is out of the garden. And then we got a cucumber from the garden, some green onion, and some sugar snap peas. I love my salad spinner. This is the best invention ever. 
for salads. It beats having to keep dabbing it, dabbing it, dabbing it. So much water comes out with just a few spins. We don't have tomatoes coming in yet, so I picked up these tomatoes and a friend of mine gave me this great big block of cheese. My favorite time of night. Chickens are usually free ranging. It's the weather's cooled down. We had a delicious salad. I'm committed to doing salads all week. We still have a ton of lettuce to use, and it's cool because produce is coming in. I'll see you tomorrow. Day two, grilled chicken summer salad. I'm gonna season up some chicken, I'll probably cut the breasts in half. I fired up the grill, so we're gonna throw the chicken on the grill. There's a couple seasonings that I like. I got my own seasoned salt, and also I like this honey garlic by Weber. This has only four breasts. I sliced these thin. This grill is well loved. I've got plenty of leftover lettuce last night from dinner. I washed, triple washed that garden salad. Strawberries, yes, we grew our own strawberries this year, but they're all in the freezer for freezer jam. Blue cheese. Okay, chicken's done. I'm gonna let it rest while I put together the salad. I had some cut up lettuce from last night. This is all from the garden. It's nice because when I cut and wash this lettuce, when I store it in the fridge, it'll keep for like five or six days. It keeps a long time. I think Alex likes blue cheese, so we'll skip the blue cheese for him. I've got some cubed cheddar from last night. Got some green onion from last night. This is from the garden, we're growing onions, and I just cut the tops off of them when they start to droop and fall over. Pecans. I'm using bowl 
bulk at Sam's or Costco, one of them. Strawberries. So I sliced up some chicken. Brianna's poppy seed dressing. So I'll just give that a drizzle. Day three, I still have loads and loads of lettuce that I cut three nights ago. The nice thing about this lettuce, I think I mentioned it before, cut it or wash it, cut it up, it'll keep fresh in the fridge for five or six days. So tonight, uh, we are going to do a cob salad. Let's get started. Step one, let's bake our bacon. My preferred method of cooking my bacon, I like to put on a cookie sheet and toss it in the oven. Easy peasy, I don't have to stand over the stove. Cob salad. I have an avocado. Nineteen minutes in the oven. Bacon's done. I'm gonna let it cool for a second and chop it up. So a cob salad is um, it's typically made up of a lettuce, um, blue cheese, bacon, hard boiled eggs, chicken. We've had chicken, we've had hard boiled eggs, so tonight um, this is just my take on a cob salad. Day four, I don't wanna be in the kitchen tonight. I'm tired. I was in the kitchen all day making strawberry jam and I'm in the midst of cleaning up and it's gonna rain so I'm out here. 
I've got to get this lettuce. Look at this lettuce. It's insane. I cut it and it just comes right back. <laughs> so this, um, this bib lettuce looks like it's bolting. I can see some seeds on top. So this is telling me this is probably going to be the last time that I am going to be able to um, cut this lettuce. I will plant some more though. I think that'll do us tonight. You ever have those nights that you just don't feel like cooking? The house has been hot all day and I've been on my feet. I'm struggling with this one tonight. Tonight would be one of those nights where I'd say, oh, let's just call down to the local pizza place. They have good chicken tenders. But I'm committed. So tonight we are going to have taco salad. I pulled some um, ground beef out. It's from a local farm. And I'm gonna fry up the brown the beef and get this uh, lettuce washed up. When my meat is browned, I will add about a cup of water and I have my own taco blend. I want to use this up. This is Watkins. This is delicious. I love this one. I don't really have a set amount. Probably a couple tablespoons. And we'll just let that simmer. It'll cook all that um, all that water will evaporate out of there. I use Young Living Thieves. It's just a natural cleaner. I've always used it on my vegetables. So any buggies or anything coming out of there. Hopefully our lettuce is nice and clean. This looks pretty good. I think everybody knows what a taco salad is, but this is our rendition of a taco salad. This is the bib lettuce that I cut up from the garden. And I put in some tortilla chips. Some people use Doritos. I don't like Doritos in my taco salad. I think it's overpowering. The lime chips are nice, but I think that the plain ones work well for taco salad because you're having all those other different flavors. And then some cheese. Gone through quite a bit of cheese this week. This is our fourth day of salads. And then some of our taco meat.
This is our local grocery store brand, Meyer. It's just like Catalina dressing, half the price. I also cut up an onion. I drained some black olives and I have some, I sliced up some small cherry tomatoes. Everybody likes all that, so I leave that separate on the side. Okay, here we go. Day five. I have been cutting this lettuce all week. I gotta quit planting so much lettuce. <laughs> so tonight, um, we are going to have, what did I say we're going to have? So on the menu for tonight, we're going to have lettuce wraps, but instead of ground chicken, I'm going to do ground turkey. I had it on hand. So right here, these are nice big lettuce sleeves that we can use for our wraps. That one doesn't look good. <laughs> so I'll go through here and uh, pick some good lettuce. I got my bowl of lettuce. I'm just gonna head inside and start on the filling. Okay, lettuce wraps. Now I don't know how this is gonna go over with my kids. <laughs> I've never done lettuce wraps before. I've eaten plenty of lettuce wraps, but we've had a lot of salads this week and I wanted something to where I could still use up the lettuce. So I found a lot of broad leaf lettuces and um, I thought, oh, lettuce wrap sounds different. So for them, I am going to throw on some rice. Um, they can try the lettuce wraps too, but this will be safer. <laughs> been told to uh, wash my rice so I am I can't remember how much water I put in this four I put four cups in I had to go back and watch it's been a long day you see I got some Sun here anyway I've always been told to wash my white my rice it's very important to wash your rice a lot of ground can pollutants contaminants can get into rice also, it, it washes off the excess starch so that it makes it so it's not as sticky and um, kind of goopy. So I, I usually give my rice um, a three times rinse. All right, the first thing we want to do is start on our sauce. So I started with two tablespoons of peanut butter I'm going to have the recipe in the comments and to that we want soy sauce this is liquid aminos hoisin sesame oil Rice vinegar, a sweet chili sauce, we want some honey. We want some granulated garlic. And some ground ginger. We 
We're gonna give that a good whisk. I'm gonna make sure this is blended really, really well. I meant to add some peanut oil to this before I got started. I'm just gonna add a little bit. I'm supposed to add this and then let it get hot and then add the turkey. That's okay. recipe but it says you can use anything you like. So while that's going, I'm going to cut my onion. Ooh, this is a hot onion. My eyes are burning. big huge fan of pepper so I'm just going to add like three quarters of a red pepper just for some color. I drained two cans of the diced water chestnuts. this recipe but I always do more. You know it's either nice to have it the next day. My kids if they really like it it'll be gone. So it's just always safe to make more around here. Now I'm just going to let everything all the veg become soft. Let everything kind of cook down. I haven't done this before, so I don't know how long that's going to take, but it smells heavenly in here. I really want to add something like some, I pulled some um, yellow squash, some zucchini out of the garden. Would you believe as much cooking as I do, I have one, <laughs> one frying pan. I have little ones for like eggs. I am in the market for some really good pots and pans. I like enameled cast iron. So if you have any leads, leave me a comment. Let me know what you like because right now I could sure fry up some more veg and I can't. <laughs> this is my sad drawer. I'll show you. I got three pans. One, two, three. <laughs> I could, I guess I could down here um, use my saucepans, but that's not the same. All right. Okay, so our veg is getting nice and soft. I think we're gonna add our sauce. Mmm. Mmm. 
it's not too dissimilar to P.F. Chang's. This isn't a, a P.F. Chang's copycat either, it's just a lettuce wrap recipe that I found. And it needs to cool. I think the flavors will come more together when it cools. Mmm, that's good. There you have it. Five days of lettuce. <laughs> I still have so much lettuce out there. I, I've tried to give it away. Um, next year, I think I'm going to plant two rows instead of five. <laughs> Lettuce is uh, it's such an easy um, crop to grow. So if you eat a lot of salads, you know, it can be expensive. You know, you can go to the store and buy that tub of spring mix for like five or six dollars. I think it might be seven or eight now for the organic. And that's like, what, four or five meals when you can take a dollar seed pack of lettuce mix and you'll probably get that four or five times over or no no probably 20 times over depending on how much you plant thanks so much for hanging out with me the last five days um, if you have any questions comments ideas I have a lot more lettuce out there even though some of it is starting to go to seed I still have probably two weeks worth of lettuce out there if it lasts um, give me a, a thumbs up if you like this video it helps me out and I'll see you next time.